GDG is an acronym for Google Developer Group and it started as actually a technology user group a while back. GDG is actually the Google Developer Group and while well, GBG is um, the Google Business Group. And GDG is a community of tech enthusiasts, not necessarily just computer scientists but people interested in technologies. I mean, we have a lot um, coming up for 2015. I mean, the Android Study Group is one of the major milestones Google is working on. Uh, right now, we have the Google Developer Relations, you know, um, Emeka Fibo, uh, who actually has pioneered one of the offline DVD contents. So we hope to actually create more, you know, coverage, um, hopefully in 2015. And yeah, we have a lot of stuff coming up, hackathons, events, uh, we're going to launch a new website. Uh, so hopefully you guys, uh, you guys just stay tuned. 2015, I believe, is going to be a very awesome year with Android Auto and Android and Android TV. So I'm looking forward to those technologies in 2015. Our plan basically is to see how we can um, get new products coming up from Google and see how we can get it to impact people's life more. And um, for us working together, you know, Google actually is more of a techie company and they produce um, developer tools for businesses. And most of the guys that work on these tools are more techies and they might not really see how they can really put these things in terms of penetration to business use. So in terms of collaborative effort, I think um, the developers actually gives um, the, us more in-depth opportunity in using, maybe, maybe seeing future possibilities on how we can penetrate more businesses from the business angle. I enjoy playing games. I play Call of Duty with um, our GDG lead, so uh, when I get, whenever I go back home, I always think of making my own games and I think Unity gave me that opportunity to make games with a familiar language like C Sharp that I'm really used to. And I, I use a lot of Google APIs for personal projects, for you know projects in the community and I like to teach about you know just everything about Google uh, platforms including um, you know um, Polymer, including Google APIs, including the stuff from Android. I mean, um, Android has been one of the major drivers that has revolutionized the industry uh, when it comes to smartphones and you know tablets. I check my email every day, so I, I would say I use more of, of the Gmail. But um, the, the, my best featured part is um, the apps. You know, on, on, on the apps, you know, the the benefit of Drive Forms, and actually Forms is actually one of the most fascinating thing for me. Even though you know, I still have idea about you know the YouTube the bloggers and so on you know the ability for people to be able to do real-time surveys you know like for me presently we believe um, current um, educational system in the country should embrace modern survey system rather than the traditional questionnaire and all that you know it makes everything legacy you know I, I think this is actually the way forward It's been it's been hectic uh, to say the least, and uh, obviously you expect that when actually running any kind of event, and uh, when it comes to organizing a tech event like uh, you know GDGs and all that, uh, it actually takes a lot from you know you the organizers, your team. Uh, but the end, you know, you guys get to you know rejoice and smile when you see developers actually taking away stuff and you know kind of sharing success stories from one of your sessions or meetups, and hopefully um, we you know. We get excited doing what we like, so for me, I think um, you know it's like doing what you love all over again. Well, I won't say there, there hasn't been any challenges, but it has been very, very. It has been fun to actually help uh, students who have never been in any development environment to write their first code, their first piece, uh, piece of code, and run their own apps and test it on their own devices to see what it is to work in the industry. Running the two community might be um, a little bit, well, for us here, yeah, I think it's actually fun all the way. So either running it together collaboratively, it's always fun. But looking at um, it from a realistic point of view, we actually have um, um, a GDG community in FCT Abuja, and we have um, a community also in Lafia. So we are looking at the possibility where, but we are in the middle. And I, I don't really know maybe, um, although Google gives leverage to bigger institutions, not small ones, but either way, we still got the GDG lead here. And we moving now to the city gives us more greater edge because we are more techies and also are looking at how we can make technology more beneficial to people. You know, and I think what that's actually one of the basic goals of what Google stands for. A couple of uh, years ago, um, I wasn't really developing on Android and I 
believe we were able to build a couple of Android apps. I mean, one of my first projects was an app that went straight to App Store. Uh, is the, it was the Magic Niger, and the idea was just to see how we can put medicine or medical, um, you know, practice or skill to, to use, basically. So, yeah, but now we have a couple of apps right now in Play Store, and we hope to have some more. And uh, one of the exciting things right now is Google has actually um, allowed um, payments, in-app payments in Nigeria, which is awesome. I mean, in Sub-Saharan Africa, Nigeria is one of the best you know, countries out there to, to get this. I mean, one of the first. So we, I hope we you know we're going to earn a lot of money uh, as developers and the community, empowering them to learn and how to make money as well with their skill sets. Last year, 2013, we we had some great success. Even though basically we actually took first and last quarter, and we don't really know why we're not in the IO. And this year, we well the enthusiasm dropped, but well, uh, GBG Women was actually the most active, working with Ola Kresky and the rest. And as it is right now, uh, even though we didn't get an invite to the G days, we still actually believe we are actually more active and we have more success stories in terms of impact on people's business using technology um, than any other community. A success story on a very funny app I wrote on Windows Phone called Annoying Sounds. The app was actually, I just did it just to play around and it happened to have about 3,000 downloads and to me, for something that wasn't meant to make any hit. I think it's actually a success story. All I need to say is, you know, have an open mind. Um, your love for technology should always surpass anything right now. Yeah, and then of course, um, you know, feel free to join us in any of our meetups. I mean, we, we promise you a lot of excitement, tons of, you know, technology, you know, goodies and Googliness. So hopefully we get to see you in one of our events. If you're coming to our community here, you actually will have to be a technology enthusiast. You have to like what you do. You have to see how you can make technology usable for people. And um, if you're looking at that, maybe in terms of making money initially, well, Google is one of those um, companies that it's not about profit. You know, they look at impact first. How can you make people's life meaningful using technology? Yeah, I'll say um, we should keep pushing and keep innovating and solving problems around us. And we may be the people that will lead this particular country or continent into the new um, era of technology. Okay, well, um, the, the name actually came from, I think some of my friends in the university, you know, first degree, university of my degree. <clears throat> well, other degrees, we have um, one from University of Teesside, Anglia Ruskin, I'm presently um, doing my PhD with ICT University Louisiana. So the, the, the El Robbie came from more or less like from the nickname Robbie. And I have some friends that just believe, well, my name Adoroba, the Roba part was a little bit more difficult to pronounce. So they, instead of them slaughtering the name, I just said, okay, just make it Robbie. Uh, I wouldn't know why they put L in front. Maybe from El Shaddai, you know, they just had to take away the prefix. Yeah, boss is from Metal Gear Solid. It's supposed to be the big boss, actually. It's, um, I see the big boss as a mentor. So sometimes you see that you call me boss or snake, but people are always scared of snakes. Uh, it started way back when computers were, I mean, in Nigeria, I mean, when I got my first email address and I was trying to iterate or come up with a good name that will actually stay for a while. Uh, Murphy, of course, is what I've been called, aka. So it's been a while, and uh, it made sense to actually use the word compo to relate to computers and technology. So yeah, Murphy compo, I guess.